from Seco Future Farm. Today's innovations, tomorrow's solutions. Hello and welcome back to Future Farm. We are standing here out at Future Farm and I'm with Todd and today we are going to be talking about drones. Todd, we've talked about drones a couple of years now, but now we have our own drone. We do. So tell us a little bit about it. You know, drones have come a long way. And, uh, you know, we, we have flown some of the smaller drones for aerial photos and things like that, and also to be able to scout fields. Mm -hmm. uh, but now we have one that we can actually make foliar protection applications. And uh, number one, when you unpackage a, a machine like this, it's kind of intimidating. Mm -hmm. It is. It's a, it's a lot bigger than you expect. You know, when you see a drone from, assist, uh, the, from the road as you're driving by a field that's having an mm -hmm. application, you don't realize they're little tanks. These are big machines that, you know, they, they have to carry a lot of liquid. So, they do. Uh, you know, this isn't necessarily the largest drone out there. Oh. How are we using our drone? Yeah, and, and as far as drones are, are, are concerned, I'm not a real aficionado across the industry, but there's several manufacturers. And from what I can see, this is one of the smallest sprayer drones mm -hmm. that, that we can find. And how we're using it is number one, to be a better partner. Mm -hmm. to be able to combine our streamlined ag materials with our genetic packages so we can get the most out of the crop that we're growing. And the idea is, is, is to be proactive, to be protective, and really to be able to use prescriptions of different types of compounds to make the very best version of the plant that it can be as it goes through the season. Exactly. So the drones bring a lot of versatility and flexibility to applications being made. You, know, you and I talk a lot about, you know, we've got to protect the crop and that always comes down to timing. Mm -hmm. And so you can't always get a plane to fly on a fungicide mm -hmm. or insecticide or whatever we might need. So how does that work with the drone? Yeah. So I think about timing uh, or excuse me, the quality of spray in two different ways. One, for those applications, you got to have good timing, and number mm -hmm. two, you have to have a great application. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have good timing or a good application, whatever you're using really doesn't matter, right? right. And so <clears throat> when we're thinking about how we're going to use it is commercially, commercially as you come out, if you had one of these as a private operator, you could, you could get your timing perfectly. Mm -hmm. Fungicide as an example, we want it right at VT. If we're going to do it one time, that's right at VT. And the farther away from VT that you get, the lower the return on your investment because you're getting closer to black layer or maturity. Mm -hmm. So timing is really important. So if you're out there today, this crop, our corn crop on the other side of the pathway here, we applied the fungicide here almost two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, And so if, if it's ready to go today, you pick up the phone, you call your applicator, and today's a Friday. Well, Monday comes, no application. Wednesday comes, no application. Next Friday comes, no application. All of a sudden, you are on diminishing returns and the value of that application is going down by the day. So if you have your own, you can get great timing. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, so the longer we wait, the more surface area we lose on that leaf, the more chlorophyll is gone and unable mm -hmm. to capture light, convert it into yeah. starch and grain. Yeah. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Now, you know, these aren't necessarily the same as running a ground rig, right? I mean, you can't cover the same number of acres, no. but you get a lot more versatility in the timing of the application. Yep. Well, and very similar to any any aircraft um, mm -hmm. application, whether it be fixed wing, whether it be helicopter, or whether it be drone, it's pretty low volume. Mm -hmm. We run, we're running today at two and a quarter, two and a quarter gallons per acre. So it's a fairly low volume. When you run with a ground rig, you know, you can run 10, 12, 15 gallons Per mm -hmm. acre, so big difference between the two. There, although you look at that two gallons an acre and say, "Boy, how can that be valuable?" But we see great value out of it because we get we get results and, and advantages even down to two gallons per acre. Todd, we can be really versatile in the applications that we can do with a drone. I mean, it, you, we're not talking necessarily about using herbicides because you need a, a bit more gallons per acre mm -hmm. to really effectively use herbicides, but. What all, can, what all should we be spraying in these tank mixes with the drone? Yeah, from, from our perspective, we look at it basically three categories, mm -hmm. right? So we have nutritional packages, mm -hmm. you know, micronutrients. Then we'll have what we call stress mitigators, those, those compounds that help build the vitality and robustness of the crop itself to make a better version of the plant itself. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we have the fungicide, insecticide applications, and, and for us, Timing of all three of those is important. Yes. And also when we talk about quality of application, it's, it's not just coverage 
but it's the type of day and actually the time of day. Right. If we're going to make a foliar application, if we want a nutritional application to, to be valuable, you can't do it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon when the crop is, is 93 degrees in the canopy and you have that silver color to the corn because yep. of the lignin content, the protective content. Mm -hmm. We want to be out here on a day like today, 71 degrees, almost raining. This yep. plant's wide open and it can just absorb what you're trying to do. So. Having the versatility and the flexibility of a machine like this, terribly important for those applications. Yeah. So you've got to be at the right stage of the plant or disease or you know the receptivity of, of being able to capture the uh, application early enough, but also the crop needs to be receptive yeah. to the application. Yeah. So you're right, exactly right uh, Again, about timing, that. quality of application, otherwise what you're doing really doesn't matter. So Todd, last question for you before we finish up. Now that we have a drone, we've talked about it for years. We've, you've probably learned quite a few things about having a drone applicator. So what have you learned? <laughs> Jim, every day is a lesson with a machine like this mm -hmm. because they're, they're built to be intuitive. Mm -hmm. a, lot like, a, a lot like smartphones, right? Yep. They don't come with directions, so to speak. But the technology has advanced so far mm -hmm. and so fast and it advances every day. This, this machine is almost obsolete, one, because of the size of it and the adoption of, of the usage of these machines. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is amazing is, is like here, we're going to fly this here in a minute and we just have a little segment of the soybean field that we're going to fly. You, you put that in, you walk right where you want it to fly, you move down a little bit farther, you, you put another waypoint and all of a sudden it creates a pattern. You push the button, this thing will get up and it'll go do what you've asked it to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, the next sequence or, or the next step is, I want a, I want a larger one. Yeah. You know, our capacity is pretty low today. You know, we, yeah. we, we can get two acres in a fill, you can get six acres on a battery, so it's a constant in and out. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's designed for demos, not necessarily for full commercial use, but it's really useful for us to get to know our products and demonstrate the value of the products. For us, as we've always said, it's not good because we say it is. This is, a, this is another step in proof of concept of our, our want and commitment to being a better partner. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Todd. You're welcome.